in this video we're going to look at compound shapes compound shapes are shapes that are made up of other shapes stuck together so to solve these questions to solve these problems to find the area we're going to have to cut the compound shapes up into smaller shapes that we know how to work out so let's have a look at this first question you can see if we cut up here we've got a rectangle and we've got a triangle and we can work out the area of those so that should be all we need um, let's look at the rectangle so we've got five is the height and the width is four so the area of the rectangle is five times four which is 20 centimeters squared so the triangle we know the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height but we need to work out what this base is here so if we call this the base here and this the height here we need to work out what they are and then we can use the formula so the base here this whole length is five and this part is three so this must be a further two centimeters and this whole length here is seven and this bit's four up to here so this must be three centimeters so half times the base times the height half times two times three half times two times three half of two is one one times three is three so the total area is 23 centimeters squared here we've got well we could do lots of different things actually we could do a um a trapezium and a rectangle or two rectangles and a triangle or a big rectangle take away a triangle which I think is probably the easiest way of doing the question so the total shape so the whole big rectangle so I'll put rectangle big rectangle is 8 times 10 so that's 8 times 10 which is 80 centimeters squared and then we need to work out the area of this triangle so we've got the whole length here is 10 and this bit's 4 so this must be 6 and the whole length here is 8 and we've got 5 so we need another 3 so the triangle is half times 3 times 6 3 times 6 is 18 half that is 9 so the area of the triangle is nine centimeters squared so the rectangle take away the triangle 80 take away nine and that's 71 centimeters squared okay here's some more examples so we've got another rectangle and a triangle so let's do that one again so it's actually a square um, and a triangle so it's five times five for the square which is 25 meters squared and these are two set two meters and two meters because three and two make five and three and two make five so half base times height half times two times two half times two is one one times two is two so that's two meters squared so we've got 25 take away 2 which is 23 meters squared here we've got yeah we've got a rectangle with a triangle on top so 4 times 6 is the rectangle and 4 times 6 is 24 centimeters squared and we know the height of this the height of this triangle has got to be 10 take away 4 so 6 the height's got to be 6 we've got 4 up to there and 10 the whole way so another 6 and the area of the triangle is half times the base the base is 6 half times 6 times the height which is also 6 half times 6 is 3 and 3 6 is 18 so we've got 24 plus 18 
and that's 42 centimeters squared. Okay, here's some more compound shapes. See if you can work out the areas. Okay, so there's lots of different ways of working out the areas of these shapes. Um, if we cut it up here, we can have a rectangle and a trapezium. So we could work out that, or we could cut it again and have two rectangles and a triangle. So either of those options would have been fine. You could have even done the whole shape, take away the two side, two little bits. Any of those things work. And for this shape, I think the easiest thing is just to cut it across and have a rectangle and a triangle. So let's look at this rectangle here. Four times six, that's 24 meters squared. Now we've got a rectangle here. The whole way across is nine. And up to here is four. So we need another five meters to go here. So this little rectangle is five times two, which is 10 meters squared. And then we've got um, this little triangle here, which is five on the base and its height. We've got one plus two up to here and the whole way is six. So one and two, we need three more. So we've got half base times that, half times three times five. Three fives are 15, half of 15, 7.5. So we've got 24 plus 10 plus 7.5. So 34 plus 7.5 puts us at 41.5 meters squared. This shape here, we've got a rectangle, which is 4 times 3, 12 centimetres squared. And we've got a total base here all the way along of 2 plus 4, which is 6. And we've got a height of 3 up to there and 6 the whole way, so another 3. Half base times the height. Half times six is three, three threes are nine, so it's nine centimeters squared. So the total area, nine plus 12, 21 centimeters squared.